community members gathered on Fort Irwin on a cold, windy morning dressed in their favorite denim jeans and walked in formation to show support for victims of sexual assault. The march kicked off after comments from the installation commander. It's about prevention and it's about intervention and it's also about being there for those who are survivors of sexual assault, whoever they may be. Because we didn't join this profession to be a victim of sexual assault. We joined this profession to be a part of a team in an environment of unconditional trust that we will be there for each other. Soldier, civilian, family member, child. We will be there for each other. The wearing of denim comes about after an Italian Supreme Court case in 1997 where a chief judge argued that because a victim wore very tight jeans, she had to help the rapist remove them. And by removing the jeans, it was no longer rape, but consensual sex. Participants wore denim during the walk as a symbol of protest against these types of destructive attitudes towards sexual assault. We need to make a difference and show that it's, it's okay to say no and that women are powerful ladies, even in the cold. <laughs> Leadership, soldiers, civilians, and even their furry family members all took part to gain awareness and to stop out sexual assault on Fort Irwin. After the walk, leadership gave trophies to units who participated in a public service announcement challenge. But I want to thank you because we're going to take these and we're going to run these on TV here. And you'll see the best PSA possible is soldiers stepping forward to deliver a message. For a category of domestic violence, the trophy went to United States Army Garrison medac, and dental clinic command. For the category of suicide prevention, the trophy went to operations group. For the category of sharp, the trophy went to operations group. For the category of physical resiliency, the trophy went to the 2916th Aviation Battalion. The overall best and winner of the Commander's Cup went to the United States Army Garrison, medac, and dental clinic command. The purpose of the challenge was to encourage leaders, soldiers, and civilians to become part of the solution through bystander intervention.